Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the next explanation and this explanation is about the uh, system of elimination or the single or double round robin and it's actually an uh, off here instead of an or slight, uh, slight typo it's basically the same as the, what we did last time uh, it was, it's about the number of uh, combinations you can make or the number of uh, things that can happen um, if you look at this, what is this? this is basically about, um, well, about teams playing uh, in a competition of some sort so if you have five football teams so five football teams, A, B, C, D and E, and they're going to play uh, against each other. And you want to know how many games are necessary to uh, select a winner. So first we're going to look at the uh, system of elimination or the knockout system. Well, if you're familiar with it, it uh, basically goes like this. Um, well, let's have some more teams. This was actually for the single or double round robin. If you have uh, eight teams, so we have uh, team A and team B, we have team C and D and E, and I'm going to add three additional teams. So not, don't look at this, this is for the single or double round robin, this is for the system of elimination. You have eight teams, and you want to know how many um, um, matches are necessary to select a winner. So first, um, let's look at this. Uh, they're going to play against each other, and it's a knockout system. That means if you lose, you're out of the game. So if you lose once, you're out. So these two are going to win against each other, and uh, you have a winner. And obviously it's A, because team B is worthless. Then we have uh, C against D, and uh, well, we'll win. I think uh, D will win, so we have a winner. And then we have uh, E to, against F, and of course E will win, and then here uh, G will win. All right, so you start with eight teams, and you have four matches, and then you have four teams left. So they're going to play against each other like this, and like this. So you have two matches, and of course A wins again, because A is very good. And here you have E who wins. So now you have uh, six matches, and you only have two teams left. And then here, you have these two teams, they're going to play against each other, and then you have a winner. So, it took you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven matches to select a winner. All right. So, But um, can you also calculate this number without, um, without drawing this? You can draw this, but it takes time, so I want to calculate it without drawing it. But if you look at this, you see that if you start with eight teams, then you have uh, well half of it as matches because well two teams have to play in a match. So if you have eight teams, you're gonna start with four matches. If you have um, then you have four teams left, so you have to play two matches. And then you have two teams left, and you have to play one match. So for instance, if you start with uh, let's say 32 teams, we're gonna start with 32 teams. All right. Then in round one, in round one, well how many games are necessary in round one? You have 32 teams, so that means that you have 16 matches. Then you have 16 players left, so in round 2, or 16 teams, not players, then you have 8 uh, matches. Then in round 3, uh, round 3, you have 4 matches, and then in round 4, you have uh, 2 matches, and then in round 5, you have 1 match. Well, you add these, and then you have the uh, total amount of, uh, of matches. This is 24, 28, and then you get to 31. So you see, if you have uh, eight teams, you have seven matches to select a winner. If you have 32 teams, you have 31 matches to select a winner. So that means that the number of um, matches to select a winner is one less than the number of teams. And that is, of course, completely logical because you want uh, one winner. And with a knockout system, if you lose, you're out of the game. If you have two, 32 teams, you want 31 teams to lose and go out of the game because you want one team left. So it's, of course, you need 31 matches because in 31 matches, 31 teams will, will go home and you have one team left, which is the winner. So if you have 32 teams, you have 31 matches. And if you have eight teams, well, then you have uh, seven matches. So for instance, if I would choose five, but it's a bit difficult because it's not an even number, so you cannot do something like this. But if you start with five teams, then, well, you would need uh, four matches because four teams have to go home and you have one as a winner or if you, know, well, you have one as a winner so I'm gonna erase this or shall I leave it here no, I'm gonna erase it if you want you can just skip back in the video all right we're gonna go to the single or double round robin well what that means is you have these teams and it's not like if they lose they go home now, they, they play multiple uh, multiple games so they can win they can lose and then when they played against each other and you have a winner so that means that they play against every team. Now, a single round robin, and let me just say that I really love this word, it's the uh, 
Well, I think the coolest word in mod this year, it's a round robin, you know, double round robin. All right, uh, you have these teams here, and they're gonna play against other teams. Well, team A can of course not play against team A, so I'm gonna color this in. Team A cannot play against team A. Team B can also not play against team B. C cannot play against team C. D cannot play against team D. And E cannot play against team E. I think not. So E cannot play against team E. So I'm gonna erase this, and then uh, okay. So what you can do is uh, if A uh, plays against B, well you can write on the score here. So let's just say that these are the home teams, because you always have home teams, so you have uh, teams that come uh, to the to the stadium to play. So uh, if this would be uh, A against B, only then in the stadium of team A. So you can you should uh, you should write down the uh, the scores if you watch the games. Then uh, this will be two one or whatever doesn't say which sport it is, so if it's basketball it will be 70 times 50, but if it's football it will be 0-0. Zero, zero. Alright, so uh, in a single round robin, that means that every team plays against another team only once. In a double round robin, they play against each other twice. So this schedule here, this actually this is a double round robin, because here a, team A plays against team B, but here Team A plays against Team B as well. So a double round robin is, uh, well, I guess, more fair because uh, both um, Team A can play at home and Team B can play at home as well. And uh, well, home advantage uh, seems to be uh, existing. Teams do better when they're playing at home, mostly because they have their own uh, supporters, a lot of them, and they can manipulate uh, the field or uh, whatever uh, game circumstances to uh, for them to score better. So uh, we want to know how many games you need. Well, if you look at this, this is uh, well, you have five teams and five teams. So this is a grid of five by five. So the total number of squares here is five times five. But they cannot play against each other. All right. So you have to subtract five. So the in a double round robin, double round. Well, it's actually here, so I can also just say a, a double round robin. What is it? You do. Um, 5 times 5 and then minus 5 because they cannot play against each other so that's 20 matches you need 20 matches and uh, if you want you can count these, uh, these squares to see if it actually adds up to 20 or not let's say a double round robin then a single a single round robin well that's um, almost the same only they do not play twice against each other but only once so what do you do? you do 5 times 5, minus 5, and then divide it by 2. So that's 10, 10 matches, all right? And now, um, well, I choose 5 as a number here, but I can also say, oh, what do we have? 10 uh, teams, or 20, or 117. So, uh, well, to make a grid, it's, um, I wouldn't do that. I would just uh, use the calculation. So let's just say if you have uh, in a uh, double, let it be, I need a D, in a double uh, round robin of uh, n teams, and n can be a, a random number, in n teams, there are, no, and then we have n, so we just do what, what is here, so we do n times n minus n matches. n times n minus n matches. And as you can see uh, in the book, I believe this is uh, slightly different, because you, in chapter 7 you learned how to factorize this. Well, we can factorize this, because this, well, this is n times n, so this is uh, n squared, and here we have n. And this is dividable by n, and this is dividable by n. So we can make n times n minus 1. So this is what's in your book. This is what's in your book. Uh, this is what I uh, used in the calculation. And again, the bell, you have no clue how, what time it is, right? It could be the uh, second hour today, but it could also be the third hour or the eighth hour. You, don't, you just don't know. I know, you don't. So let's, uh, So this is uh, the total amount of matches. I used uh, this one to calculate the total amount of matches, but in your book is this one. And uh, well, once you know this, this is easier to use. Because uh, if I say, um, well, let's say, let's say, there are um, 12 teams. Well, that gives that gives 
12 times 12 minus 1 matches. So it is 12 times 11, and 12 times 11 is 132 matches in a uh, double round robin. And in a single round robin, you just have to divide this by 2. Alright? Thank you very much.